With Bethesda Shadow Dropping Oblivion Remastered, modders are already hard at work customizing the game to their liking. If you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering how to mod Oblivion. You may be new to modding, or you just want to touch up on how to mod. This will be a manual installation process. I'm sure Vortex and other mod managers will be more reliable, but with the game just releasing, I'm just going to show you the manual installation process. This will work for Steam and some of the mods should work with the Game Pass version as well. Before we get started, you'll need a few things. First off, you'll need something to unzip the files. I use WinRAR, you can use 7-zip as well. Also, you'll have to create an account on the Nexus if you don't already have one. To keep everything organized, I like to make a mod folder. I just named it Oblivion Mods, and inside there, I made another folder named Mod List. This is where I'll put all the mods that I download just to keep everything organized. Now to actually install mods, we'll need to locate a couple folders. For Steam users, the majority of your mods will be inserted into your Steam Oblivion Remastered folder. This can be located through the Program Files 86, go down to Steam, then Steam Apps, find Common, and then this should be your list of downloaded games, and then just create a shortcut of the Oblivion Remastered. Windows 10, all you have to do is just right click and then create a shortcut. For Windows 11, you're going to need to right click, go down to show more options, and then you should see create a shortcut. Now you don't have to do this, it's just going to save you from finding this folder every single time you want to install mods. Now take that shortcut, put it in your Oblivion Mods folder so you can just easily access Oblivion Remastered. Now I've only seen this other Oblivion Remastered folder for one mod, but I'll just show you guys just so you know where it is. You're going to go to the documents and then my games and you should see Oblivion Remastered. Just make a shortcut for this as well and just name it Oblivion Remastered Documents or I just said doc. And then you can drag this into your Oblivion mod folder as well. From here, you should be good to just download whatever mods you think might be fun to try out. As of today, I mean, the game's only been out for a little while. There's skip intro screens. I've downloaded a few engine tweaks or performance boosting mods, as well as reshade mods and a mod that disables the compass. For the reshade mods, obviously you'll need to download and install reshade for the Oblivion Remastered Windows 64. From there, you can throw your downloaded reshade mods into the Oblivion Remastered folder, engine, binaries, and during the installation process for reshade, just select the preset or the INI file, and it should have a list of all the effects that will be activated by this INI file. And obviously every mod is different. Some mods will need to go in one folder and other mods will need to go in another. So just make sure you're reading the description very carefully and putting the files in the correct folders. As I said earlier, for Steam users, the majority will go into that Oblivion Remastered folder located in your Steam library. And for Game Pass users, you'll need to go to Xbox games and then the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion Remastered and then content. Also double check to make sure the mod is capable to run with the Game Pass version of the game. Now actually getting into the game with the mods installed. First off, looking at reshade, you'll see something at the top of your screen showing you that the reshade installed correctly. To bring up the reshade menu, you can press home. I highly recommend that you go into settings and set a key to toggle on and off your reshade preset. And as you can see, I have one of the reshades activated. There was some weird artifacts or something going on, so I disabled things one by one to figure out what was going on but once I got that figured out I do love the look of this reshade I believe it's the rabbits realistic oblivion reshade I just think it looks really good another mod that I really liked was the no compass mod if you guys have ever played Morrowind you know that feeling of discovery and adventure when you just go out and just do random things maybe you get a quest and read your journal maybe you complete that quest maybe you don't there was this weird thing where you could still see the numbers 
numbers of how many steps you need to take to get to a door location. I don't know if that was on purpose or if the mod creator just didn't disable this yet or if a future patch will fix this, but I just love this no compass mod. After playing, you know, hundreds of hours of Skyrim, it kind of gets annoying just seeing that quest marker. And I did download some performance mods. Some of my footage definitely didn't do it justice. The footage just looks super laggy. I don't know if it was just OBS or I was recording on my laptop because they, like I said, they shadow dropped this game. I was at work. So I had stuff to record and I only had my laptop, but in the future I'll be recording the videos on my main computer. If this video helped you guys out, please consider leaving a like. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, feel free to subscribe. I'm sure I'll be doing more Oblivion videos. I just love Oblivion. Didn't even know that this game was coming out, so this was a huge surprise to me. I also do Monster Hunter Wilds content, so if you guys are interested in that, go check out some of my other videos. And as always, I hope you all are having a wonderful day, and I'll see you all in Cyrodiil. Peace out.